what up y'all and welcome to our channel today i'm flying back to australia and i want to take y'all along with me and give y'all a plane review of of the air new zealand flight that i'm taking today so it's early in the morning it's like six in the morning or 6 30. <laughs> i don't even know what time it is but it's early so we're gonna go get on this plane and i'll give y'all my review of what i think about this one um you'll see earlier i done a review on the plane coming over so now it's time to go back so sit back relax and let's go and come fly with me let's go see ya I don't know. I was just talking and I just realized I was on time lapse, so I don't know what I was talking about. But anyway, I think I was talking about the check in, how fast it was, and how the machines. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Oh, well, I'm not going to the Gold Coast. Going to the Gold Coast. Don't go to the Gold Coast. I'm not going today. But uh, that's another trip. But yeah. Chicken was pretty quick. I like the machines that they have. The ones that um, you just go up there, do what you got to do, and get it done. Also, um, with uh, other, uh, there's like with with your normal chickens. If you don't check in on online, I tell you they calling for all people to come and catch their planes, which people be already there, so they don't have to. Just like the check-in, get checked in and be ready. Like I said, the machines that they have, pretty quick. You don't have to sit around and wait on somebody to check your bags in, put tags on it, give you a boarding pass. You just check in the machine, the machine spits out the tag, you put it on yourself, go take your bag, put it on the belt, it weighs it, and off it goes. Done. Five minutes. Quickest chicken I ever been in. Now it's just trying to get through customs. That's another story. But um, yeah, they probably ready to kick me out the country today. <laughs> but that's okay. But I'm, I enjoy my sign. I enjoy my uh, trip here. Waiting for everyone to come through and just be happy. So yeah, I can't wait to get back to Australia. Because I got a few adventures that I need to go on for next week. And I'm taking y'all with me. So, yeah, just sit back, relax, and enjoy enjoy the ride. I'm going some some exciting places. So, be ready. It's going to be fun. And, uh, yeah. So, on that note, I'm just going to sit here and just wait out my time before my flight boards. Got to go get through customs first. And then... Yeah, it's off back to Australia. Oh, I know how hot it has been, but it's been beautiful weather here. I tell you, I'll see y'all when I get in Australia. But I will give y'all a quick view of the plane and what it's like and how how the um, the seating is and uh, how much room I'm gonna have. So I don't know if this port came on, but. I want, if y'all can, in the comments below, let me know which is the bigger plane. I'm on, I'm on a 787 today, and I was on a 777, and the seat room was very, very spacious on that plane. I want to know what type, what airline that you travel with uh, frequently with uh, the different size planes, which ones do you think is the bigger one, where you have more leg room. For me, I'm six foot, and leg room is very important. So, 
Let me know in the comments below how that is for you and um, what airlines it is because I want to try all airlines. I don't just want to fly on one or two and then I say, yeah, no, this is this and this is that. No, I want to fly on a few so I can get my opinions so I can let y'all know. But I want y'all to leave me a comment. Let me know what airlines that y'all take on because I want to know. So, for now, I'm going to get through customs and then I can show y'all around on the other side. Okay? So, I'll see y'all on the other side. Mix and match, $2 each. Mm. Nah, that's okay. I'm going on through here. Because guess what? On the other side of those escalators over there, there's food. And there's also food here too. They got different places you can. There's ugly bagels. I never heard of an ugly bagel, but uh, okay. You got Whitaker's chocolate over yonders. I'm going up the escalator because I know there's food up there, so that's where I'm going. I never come to the airport hungry because I'll be eight everywhere. But yeah, this um, oh, you get a good view of plane from this. The T18 number two. I don't forget what gate I was on. But that's okay. I think it's down there. Okay, 17 or something like that. It's okay. Thank, thanks for the board today. See. Uh, let's see. Sydney, that's 103. That's not me. Sydney QF. No. Oi. I don't see my flight. <laughs> Oh, there it is. Sydney's NZ 105. Gate 16. So we're going to be going down that corridor there when we go. But at the moment, I'm looking for sustenance. And it looks like it's only McDonald's. There's no Burger King here. It's used to be here. But everything's done changed. But oh well. We'll go down here and see what we can see. Back to you, I want to get on the plane. Air New Zealand flight 105 to Sydney is now boarding. All passengers should complete departure processing and go to gate 16.
Hey everybody, so from this part of the video I'm going to do a voiceover. Uh, Mike was supposed to do it but he's gone again and on another trip so thought I'll complete it because we do need to get this video completed and uploaded. So um, this particular aircraft is a 3x3x3 three by three by three seating configuration um, and it was a full flight and uh, where Mike is seated is near the rear of the plane and he did have an aisle seat so um, boarding was pretty straightforward as he said earlier in the video there were no issues <coughs> and check-in was pretty good too using the automated systems are always really helpful and really does reduce a lot of time so this is where Mike will be seated for his flight back from Auckland to Sydney and um, like everyone you get a little bit of space in the overhead compartments so um, this is where he is going to be seated for the for the flight which is I believe two and a half to maybe three hours depends on what route the air, aircraft takes um, <clears throat> and um, yes yeah, so this is where he's seated as you can see there is good adequate leg space for him being a six footer and um, on this particular flight, Mike didn't uh, pre-order a meal. He was only in New Zealand for three days and really this flight was just time for him to catch up on some sleep. So he um, just pre-ordered the movies and no meal. He did, however, want to mention in this particular video that the service, unfortunately, from the Air New Zealand crew wasn't the best he's ever received. Um, he's always enjoyed flying Air New Zealand, but in this case, he felt that the um, crew wasn't, didn't pro provide the best of service this time round. So hopefully in our next trip, if we are flying Air New Zealand, it will be better. So as you can see, the flight is full and we thanks for watching. <laughs> 